come with me? I have problems. Right, I'll do my intro. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Railroads Online. My name is Evil One, and today I am joined by the one and only Dolan. Say hi, Dolan. Howdy, guys. And the mighty Tidmouth. Say hi, Tidmouth. Oh, mighty, how dare you. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, today uh, we're just going to be running some trains, I think. Um, we need to get a little bit of everything to everywhere. We need logs from the uh, logging camp to the sawmill. We need um, cordwood down here to the smelter. We need the products from the sawmill up to the mine, and we need the ore, of course, down here to the to the sawmill or to the smelter as well. So, with that being said, uh, we have three trains. We have three drivers. Uh, we can all take a different locomotive, different train. We can team it up. Uh, I'm going to leave that up to you guys and whatever you guys want to do, and I'll just fill the holes. How about that? Yeah. Uh, I'll it's warm them back so I can do uh, log trains for the uh, what's name cars. Skeleton cars. The skeleton cars? Yeah. Okay. And Dolan, what do you want to do? Well. It doesn't really matter to me. I can do whatever. Um, I can go get cordwood since we okay. need it. Um, I'm not sure where. And I'll. Uh, I know the cordwood cars are over at the freight depot. Um, what locomotive do you want? I can okay. use error. I think error is. And correct me if I'm wrong. Tidmouth error is at the sawmill. Uh. It's wherever you left it. Yeah, at the sawmill. <laughs> Awesome. Then I will take. Um, shoot. I'll take trial. And I'm gonna do a trial. It's like trial's not really strong enough to pull uh, the wood products from this from the sawmill to the mine. So I'm just gonna keep running. I guess or. I can do. But I can. Do both, because I'm pretty sure the Cook Mogul should be able to be able to take both. What wood products do we need at the at the mine uh, currently? Well, it's been a while. Um, I think I was taking trains of half and half. Yeah, but what it needs, I don't recall what it's like short on. Um, but yeah, should be able to check with railroads online. You just take a mixed train. Then uh, we'll have it. We'll, we'll have enough yeah, there I'll for, take... for everything. Do we have any cabooses nope. yet? No cabooses. Oh, and please make sure to remember to join my company. I appreciate it. Yeah, so do I. It looks it looks awesome. And somebody commented that uh, it's oh. probably inside the smelter. <laughs> um, I, we actually do know where it's at. It's outside of the map. Oh. And apparently the crane in it oh, is really? functional. That's what I've heard from, I think it was Pharma? Pharma said it was functional. I'm surprised y'all didn't go with the, the coal. 260 coal. So we're not up at the uh, coal mine yet. Probably won't be for a while. Well, here's the thing. The coal on those things lasts forever. A little bit of realism. You know, trying to keep a little bit of realism in the game. How many stake flats do we have? I think there's eight of them. So, four... So, four cars of each? Yeah, that should... That should do it. No. Uh, it's a it's a tough climb. It'll buff. <laughs> I'll make it work. You 
say that. Famous last words, guys. Famous last words. It was weird, when I was doing it last time I played, when I did it with half and half, it went perfectly fine. But any other combination, just everything seemed to go wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm about to be adding cordwood to the mix, so... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so how steep is the climb outside of the iron, uh, or not the iron, the, uh, the logging camp? The logging camp to where? The logging camp to the, the plateau, and then the valley down. Oh, to, to the, the smelter? smelter? Uh, the climb up is mm -hmm. at three percent. What is the climb like from the smelter to, I think the are uh, the iron it's mine? It's mostly at two percent, I believe. Okay, that's my route. That's the way I'm going. Because at two percent, the locomotive is good for quite a bit of weight. So as long as it is two percent. Should be fine and dandy. Okay. I'll be riding on the same line, so just let me know uh, where you're at, and I'll have to be at one of the either the iron mine or the smelter when you're on the line. Because we yet to have a passing track. <laughs> As I told y'all, we need it. <laughs> but no. Nobody listens to Dolan, because apparently my ideas aren't the best. That is a joke. Uh -huh. Purely a joke. I don't sense the animosity at all. I am at the freight depot. I was very wary of that switch that I'm in front of, and I know Tidmouth said that he set all the switches, but I got scared when I saw the handle of the switch and was like, I'm not sure if that's set correctly. No, I don't want to go in reverse. The three ways are deceptive. Because <laughs> the handle goes the, the opposite way to the way you'd expect. Yeah. Well, apparently, uh, I've heard from several people the handle is facing yeah, the right direction. Actually, when you look at the mechanism, it makes sense, but <laughs> you'd think like the like with the two ways, which is the lever points to the direction <laughs> you're going to go. Right. Tidmouth, weren't you coming up here to get the skeleton yeah. cars? Just uh, coming into the sawmill yard now. Betsy can only go so fast. I can't give her any more, Captain. <laughs> I've given her all she's got. <laughs> I love Star Trek. <laughs> That moment when I have to remember, I'm pretty sure there's a brake tied. Wait, did y'all set brakes on this train? Um, probably. I'm pretty good about setting pretty much all the brakes. Yeah, I'm not seeing any on the other tool, so... Yeah. I was scared for a moment, because, like, 15 miles an hour, I... Oh, they really need to update that. The, their biggest thing is that they just need to really 
and I mean really fix the client side bugs because we've I feels like we've got more. Yeah, I definitely feel like in the last couple of updates the render distance has got even shorter. Yes. But I've, I've mostly only ever been a, a host, so I've never really noticed. <laughs> I just had a car on my train derail because of the... Or I think it's derailed. I don't know. Uh, you look alright. <laughs> I'm just spying on you for, with the tool. <laughs> you look alright on the tool. <laughs> I'm just coming down the uh, the main track towards the freight depot, so don't go leaving just yet. <laughs> I'm actually backing into the uh, the spot where the Cordwood cars are at. I can see our singular log car we had. <laughs> I think it's, yeah, I think it will probably be best that we keep it. And then use it when we go to do uh, sure. pipes later on. We don't get any. We don't get anything for far... demolishing it. So, and just just kept it. Yeah, it kind of sucks. That you should at least get like scrap value or something. Right. Maybe we can have Millsy. <laughs> Talk to them. Yeah. I'd be careful, my train's up there. just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> that was client side. Well, that one seems to be panicking about it, so I assume so. <laughs> uh, how many of these skeleton cars can Betsy manage? It's think downhill, so...
I have a slight problem. But I, I have many stuck problems. Trying to push a load of heavy iron ore in reverse up to three percent uh, with an underpowered locomotive. Last time I was able to do it, I, it crawled up the hill. But uh, yeah, not not this time. It is stuck, stuck. I cannot move. Error should be coming up there sooner rather than later. Um, the bad guys are on the other side of the map right now, so it can't really help. Yeah. So I figure I'll, I'm gonna try and get it get it going here. I've probably just gotta find a flat spot. You know, I'm kind of on a little bit of a curve. Maybe I might go down a little bit and try and get it turned around or or something here. I don't know. You know, people would call me nuts for grabbing this train. You are nuts. Because I slower speeds equal raw power. Just pure raw power that cannot be un it cannot be matched. And I should probably slow down. Ah, slowing down's ever right. It's not like the right. It's not like the 15 miles an hour is going to hurt. Push. <laughs> Fix the speed limits, guys. <clears throat> the Cook Mogul's top speed was a lot faster than what they say it was. I think it was like 30, maybe? I mean, with how unstable some of these locos are at the slow speeds, I <laughs> wouldn't want to risk making them any faster at the moment. Right. Especially the, the cut. I'm, I'm like so disappointed. Like, It'll buff. When they did the physics update, like a couple of updates back, so the cut just became undrivable. It just like tips over at every opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of experienced that one, didn't we? Yeah. I should have put a D-roll counter on the, the, the last episode I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm moving in reverse. Holy hell. Let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, we had the, the weirdest double header last time as well. <laughs> yeah, with somebody with a I saw. on their locomotive. 100%. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Could it be me? Because I wasn't yeah, there. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going up at three percent. You say? Uh, try three percent. Will it do a three percent? Uh, cordwood cars do you have? We have six They're cordwood off. cars. Four. Mm hmm Four beams. And four lumber. Uh, Tenmouth, do I need to move ahead more? Okay. Yeah, let me check over there everything else. Make sure everything else is zeroed out. Okay, so I have the Cook 260 wood. Pulling uh, eight flat state cars, four with lumber four with beams and six cordwood cars loaded and you're not going to be able to do it up the yeah. the pass three percent you're eighty one thousand pounds overweight <laughs> damn um okay <laughs> let's try let's try so the max on the iron mine line Hopefully is so. two Okay, yeah, because I know definitely I can't get... <laughs> Betsy's not going to be able so to push me up the hill. you're in the green on that. Awesome. Alright. Yeah, I know you're screwed.
Um, see, I'm debating. If I drop the load here, it's going to be in the way. I can take this down to the smelter and just park it down there. That'd be your fastest. Find you. Yeah, that'd be your fastest. Alright, well, that's what I'll do. I'm gonna attempt to go up the grade. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt. If it don't work, it don't work. Tidmouth, could you set my switches, please? Oops. Look, I know this is a bad idea, guys. But I'm doing it anyways. Uh, yep, you're set to go up the pass, if that's what you're doing. Yep, up the pass. I'm probably going to regret my decisions. About joining us tonight? Uh, no. About <laughs> taking this train up the hill. Remember, guys, we have to add that passing track in soon. Why? Because then what we can do is, is we can double the hill if need be. Why would we need to do that? Because knowing me, I'm going to want to do this again. <laughs> okay. Now, if we just had a climax, we'd have no problem. Yeah, we don't have any gear trains yet. I do think that would be a smart a smart idea for like this line here. Uh specifically the one up the pass. We have a geared locomotive that helps engines up the pass. Yeah. But that's about it. I mean I think we should I think if we do decide to have helper engines, we'll make them geared locomotives, cause then Yeah. Raw I'd power. Like, I'd like help I'd like helper engines. I mean, and they should be a gear loco on these mountain passes. Uh, we just gotta get up enough money to actually buy one. I'm gonna put on the sand, because if I put the sander on... Because apparently the sander helps you, you know... Is it modeled, as far as the physics go? Nope. Apparently it's supposed to help you. I am almost, like, at a standstill on this hill. And let me guess, you're about three feet up it. <laughs> no, actually, I've made it past the second bridge. Nice. And I'm on the third. The radio distance is good enough for clients I'd probably be able to see him in the distance there. But... <laughs> Views of my video, he's there. Waving my mouse around <laughs> where he probably is. <laughs> <laughs> I do not see him. I'm moving like. Kind of fuck. I'm at two miles an hour and I'm going. Oh, at least you're going. It's varying between one and two miles per hour. Come on, don't do me like this! You're so close! Don't, don't you, don't you even dare. So close being about a third way up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> I almost crossed the third bridge. The locomotive is trying. And that or does it. I'm going to throw the tender brake on. But yeah. I was crossing... You've already crossed Mammoth Bridge. He's not going that way. <laughs> oh, well... 
Oh, you're not going that way. Uh, oh, you're going up from the logging camp. Going that way, right? Yep. To the smelter? Gotcha. <laughs> I think on client side, my cordwood cars are rolling away. <laughs> I'm just looking at three cordwood cars just rolling away. Yeah, it's client side because I teleport. Yeah, the marker lights on the back of the. What is it with me and seeing this thing roll oh, away? Too much break. Further, a little further. All right, capture forward. Break is off. Full regular. Break is off. <laughs> break <laughs> off. <laughs> Let me make sure my tender break is off. It is not. There we go. Look at this. I'm a, I'm a, un, uh, I'm gonna unhitch you because if I don't, I will push you off the track. I think so, huh? Only if I go down with no brakes. You can unhitch me if you want. You're gonna unload that. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm a, I'm a, uh, throw on my break. Just to slow down just a tiny little bit. All right, Hedge. Bye. Oh, I slowed down too much. He's <laughs> got a healthy push. <laughs> Alright, 
And I want to slow down for these S curves. I put my tender brake on. Holy shoot, I completely forgot about these. That locomotive does not like to stay on the tracks. <laughs> so you might... The new one does. This one, no. I don't think this logging uh, jumper is completely flat. It's just going to be dead stop. Shuttered my thought process. It may not be. I mean, there was some of that uh, off circle mode stuff going on there. Uh, I know where the Glenbrook is, but I'm pretty sure I just saw you, even one. Yeah, I'm way up ahead of you. I'm out way outside your render distance. Yeah, your character model didn't like that, though. I just quote-unquote nice. ran you over. <laughs> I can see a floating <laughs> evil one. Oh, I can see a, a cap door and a firebox door from uh, from the cook mogul <laughs> here at the logging camp. <laughs> at the logging camp earlier, there was a, a lamp, the headlight doors. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I know, right? Would you like me to set your switches going so you can offload that cordwood? Okay. Yes. Oops. Actually, I have I have an idea. That doesn't sound good. Here's what I need you to do. I'm gonna run back there and unhook the cordwood train. <laughs> If I can make it back there. And what we'll do is I'll speed up coming down through the yard. Okay, I'm listening. Um, I gotta save my train first. Give me a second. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. How's that speeding up going? Actually, I might be able to make it. I need you to set me on the track next to... Next to... Um... Set me on the track... Or, the... The track to get me off of the... Cordwood unloading track. I'm gonna manually set a brake. I don't know what you're doing. I think he's attempting to do a slip, but that might not go yeah. well because he's got like two feet before the junction and he hasn't even come over yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well. Ah oh, shoot! Actually, I did uncouple. Fast. Believe it or not. Bye. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, Dolan. You can, uh, you can do something. You can do something. Okay, right, right, right? Definitely something. <laughs> so there's something. That's for sure. Aha! Aha! Why don't you go catch your train? I'll take care of these cordwood cars. 
Um, I don't know if that's happening. <laughs> uh, can you teleport me on one of the log cars, please? Can you use a? Uh... Oh crap! There is a there is a, <laughs> an office ahead of error right now. Yeah, telegraph got office. It? Yeah, I got that. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Are the are the switches set correctly this <laughs> time? <laughs> I hope they're. <laughs> Thank God. Uh, nothing like a last minute plan. <laughs> a very. I still didn't have to stop. Well of, it's so difficult to stop. You know these trains. <laughs> Oh, I have like zero fuel. <laughs> that could be why I wasn't speeding up. Or it could be because I threw my regulator on and I shouldn't have. I'm going to be angry if I slow to a standstill. Right, right, my, my tender breaks on. That's why I didn't speed up. Makes sense. I do hit a patch of flat ground, correct? Uh, yes. So that'll probably give me more time to speed up again. Because I've maintained the speed of 7 going up this climb. I don't remember them mentioning yeah. anything about that, actually. That could be just a new, a new thing that just started happening. Don't, te don't tell anybody. We'll keep it that way. That's a word. Keep it dark. Alright guys, so here's what we'll do. We'll commit tax evasion and go from there. Oh, I hear no objections. I'm not too sure what you're talking about. <laughs> Man, I love tax evasion. What is going on? And the weirdest thing about tax evasion is that here in the U.S. it's legal for 10 years. But then after the, the 10, I think it's after the 10 years, so you have to immediately go back to paying your taxes. I know the, uh, the Channel Islands here in the UK have some interesting uh, tax laws um, which you can basically opt into if you live there for like things like sort of like one calendar year <laughs> like you can prove you're a resident you get their tax laws <laughs>
and I have made it to the iron mine. All right. Are you going to be signing off? Yeah, as soon as I get this train unloaded. Okay, two cars, please. roll ahead a little bit just to get that one finished uh that's good it's 5, 10, 15, 20 that'll be 25 so I'd need another 11 after this train yeah might as, well, I mean, I might as well just fully load it. Yeah. Okay. Two cars, please. One car. Half car. A little more, a little more, a little more. That's probably good. This kind of telling cars is not quite long enough. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see too when I get way ahead, like where the one car begins and the other ends. Yeah, I mean, I'm using the tools to judge. We're about to want to be a slight delay on that. Uh oh. She's not super low, but. cars. One car. Half car. Standing over here, like, where are you? <laughs> oh, I was about to give it the tools at the same time, but <laughs> he just kept cancelling me out. You can control the cranes from the tool. Yeah, you click on the little grey dots on the. Uh, oh. Yeah, that was a that was a feature that got added when they added the uh, automatic oh, crane. Shoot, I didn't know that. Yeah, the creator of Railroads Online Extended made it a made it a priority to immediately nice. add that in. I was hoping Sheridan would update his treeinator, so therefore we had something to that could take care of the trees with the new splines. He says that the the work the treeinator works, but not as good as it should. All right, I'm going to do a reverse into the little loop here. Is your switches set good? Yep, it should be. Right on. Now I just got to make sure that uh, the cook don't run away again. It's a heavy train for little old Betsy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she needs to get up to a maximum of 10 on the flat. It's not until we get downhill as she gets up to full speed. <laughs> Isn't Betsy's like top speed? Yeah, but she can't, she can't seem to manage it with a full train of logs. 
You know what's funny is that I'm pretty sure the Cook Mogul's top speed is like 18. I think I'm probably wrong about that. You just want me to teleport um, down to this point. Well, I'm up with Tidmouth now, on with Betsy. Uh, yeah, we're... you made us at the sawmill. Logging camp. Yeah. Or a sawmill. We'll be there in a, a minute. Or, or, if I can make it, if I can run fast enough. Come on, come on, come on, Dolan, you oh. got this. Last car. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can actually do the outro That's true. on board this train. Alright, that's fine with me. Alrighty, well thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I do appreciate it. I appreciate your guys' help. Uh, Tidmouth and Dolan uh, hauling the trains today. It, it was fun. We definitely had had uh, some issues climbing some grades. Uh, me in reverse and uh, Dolan trying to pull a very long train. Hey, I thought it was going to work. So, we're gonna take this last train to the to the sawmill and get it offloaded here. Um, Dolan, do you have any parting words of wisdom? Um, as of right now, as it stands, I don't know how many more episodes I'll be able to record with y'all, and I'm hoping I'm hoping to be able to record um, some episodes while I'm down south awesome. too. Now, you're going down so. for uh, conductor school. Yes, conductor school right and McDonald's. On. Well, good luck with that for sure. And uh, we'll try to get you in when when you're available. So. Yeah, I know. I know at least a couple nights out of the week. If I'm lucky, I'll have the four four to one a.m. shift, or I'll have the the seven to four. So then my evening is free as long as I get enough sleep. I should be fine. Right on. But I I do not know when I'm leaving yet, so we can we can probably get another episode in okay. before I leave. We'll, we'll try. So. Tidmouth, thank you so much for driving these log trains today. What? Uh, do you have any uh, parting words of wisdom? Well, just the uh, the usual just, uh, plea for people to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the join button if they're feeling so inclined. I very much appreciate yeah. it. Absolutely. And uh, those are excellent words of wisdom right there. You, took the words right out of my mouth so remember don't pull a dolan and try to do what i did what'd you do <laughs> try to take that train up a three percent it happens it's our company motto one of many anyway that's gonna do it for this episode thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one bye for now bye bye, -bye. <laughs>
Um, I am leaving town uh, for Labor Day weekend. So, I don't know when exactly I'm going to get it edited, but I'll try to get it edited and uploaded by then. Um, I can definitely have mine done by Thursday. I'm off Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll work on it Wednesday. I've got a whole bunch of stuff to work on myself. Uh, for my other videos and all that. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, I haven't even finished the recording. Um, my own recording. Um, yeah, so... As far as you guys have heard so far, YouTube, uh, yes, thank you, uh, yeah, be sure to just, you know, hit the join button for the memberships, like, comment, and subscribe, I'm trying to get back onto the YouTube main page, it would definitely help me out a lot, um, thank you, Evil One, for having me on, and Tidmouth, thank you for setting my switches when I clearly could not do it myself. I was so distracted trying to help you, I derailed myself once, so... <laughs> but anyways thank you guys all for tuning in and i'm hoping to see y'all in the next video i have no new announcements for new videos coming up recently um i still need to get the showcase about oliver and duck out and when that is i will post a community post letting you guys know the progress on that hope y'all have a good night or a good day or a good weekend whenever you're watching this i don't know when this will be uploaded hopefully thursday next week so but yeah, I hope you all have a good night. Stay amazing.